Universal Audio's Luna is now available for free to Windows users. So what are some of the limitations of this free version, if there are any limitations? And what are some of the strengths that could make you want to jump ship from whatever current program you're using? Let's check it out. So this is the Luna Digital Audio Workstation. And as you can see, it looks very similar to other DAWs that are available to you. What it reminds me of so far is kind of Pro Tools mixed with Cakewalk, but easier to use. Now there are some limitations to this free version, but those are just added features. They're not necessary for making music. They're just sort of Luna specific features that you wouldn't find in any other program anyway. So you can make music in this free version, no problem. So what do you get with this? You can have unlimited tracks and that's audio or MIDI tracks. You can have unlimited of those. You can record as many tracks as your computer can handle. You can bring in your own third party plugins. Now, if you're not familiar with what those are, they are added instruments and effects plugins. You can find a lot of them for free and you will want to bring some into Luna because it does lack all of your essentials. So let's have a look in here. We can move around our clips however we want. We can quickly create new tracks. We can go to new track and you can see we have this new track creation menu over here and I can click OK on that. We've got a new track. We can record in here very easily. So we'll arm it for recording. Now, I don't have anything to record in there at the moment, but I'm just showing you very quick to record in here, just like any other digital audio workstation. Plus, you have your MIDI editing features in here, like quantize. You can see we have all our quantize stuff over here. We can edit the velocities if we want to. We can make this bigger just by clicking and dragging this down. And now you have that much larger and then we can shrink all our tracks down like that. It's really easy to work with. Now, if you're used to Pro Tools, you'll be familiar with how you access the mixing window. So right now, this is our edit window where we edit all of our clips or bring in clips to record. But if we press Control and the equal sign, it flips us over to the mix window. And this is where we see all of our channel strips in here and they would keep getting added and added more and more. So this makes it a lot easier when you're in the mixing mode. You can do all of your adding plugins and editing your levels and panning, all of that stuff in this view. And I have some Luna tutorials on the way to show you how to easily start making music in this software. So be sure to subscribe if you aren't already, or if those could be out already by the time you're watching this anyway. So check out some other videos on this channel. Now let's take a look at some of the more unique features of Luna. And I'm going to switch over to the mix screen for this because one of the biggest unique features are these channel strips that you have here. Yes, you still have all your typical stuff like your level fader on here. You can do your solo, your mute. This button right here allows you to do your input monitoring. So if you have a guitar connected and you wanna test out some guitar effects and hear how they sound before you start recording, you can enable that input monitoring there. And of course you can arm the track for recording with that one. And then you have your panning features here. You can see stereo tracks have the left and the right, where mono tracks just have the one. But if we right click here, we can go to simple and that makes it a simple stereo track. But we'll change it back. Now let's have a look at some of the other stuff in here. We're going to go to this utility tab. So one of the cool things is we can collapse or expand all of these sections in the mixer and it kind of gives you a tidier workspace and we want to go to utility and in here we can do the phase invert but you can also add some delay to it so if you're having some real phase issues you might want to delay one of the tracks by just a little bit and hopefully that helps you with whatever phase issues you might be having so that's kind of a cool feature in this utility tab here and then we have this tape tab and with the free version, you actually do get one tape module with it. So I'll click here. I have the Studer A800. That's because I own that plugin. So it's available to me here. But by default, you'll have Oxide. And this is an excellent tape emulator. 
I actually have that plugin as well, and I use it quite a bit. So with the free version, you do get this and you get all the presets down here with it, which is really cool. So that's nice. You do have that tape saturation in there. And that's one of the unique features. If you had their Ampex tape plugin, that would be available here. Or if you had the Pro Bundle, which also comes with all of these tape plugins, those would be available to you in there. So that's our tape section here. And you can have a different tape that you record to, and then your master tape could be a completely different tape, which is another cool feature. And this gives you instant access to some analog sounds that Luna is capable of. Now let's take a look at the console feature here. Now I don't have any of the consoles. So right now it's set up for the API vision console and also the API 2500 compressor. You can put that in this console section. If you get that pro bundle, you will have that. Or if you purchase the API vision plugin, you will have that here. So that's kind of cool. It gives you this analog workflow if you want it. And then the insert section, this is where you put your plugins. So any plugins that you have installed on your computer, you can access them from in here and you can quickly load those onto your tracks. You can also create or access your sends here. So we'll just create a bus and I'll click okay. We now have this new bus here and you can see we have this send control that we can send however much we want. And we can also expand this section where you got this fader that you can control how much you're sending to the bus, which is really cool. And then you have your output section and you can control where your tracks output to. So you can have them output to the bus completely if you want, or you can use the bus as a send. However you want to route your audio, you can do that in here, which is really cool. I really like the fact that you can collapse all of these sections and really tidy up your workspace. You can also remove or hide any of these sections so we can hide them just by clicking here like that. And you can hide however many you want, or we can add them all back in there. And it does just hide them. So it's not removing anything in there. It's just making it hidden. Now I'm just going to switch back to the edit view here to show you another cool thing. And we could access this from the mix view, but I just want to go back to this screen anyway. And that's these workflows up here. So we have different workflows. We click on this one. It's a recording workflow. This is your MIDI workflow. And I want to show you a cool feature there. Then you have your edit workflow and your mix workflow. And what these do is they give you quick access to some of the more common tasks that you would do for mixing and editing and whatever workflow you're on. So that's kind of a cool thing to help speed you up. Now I'm going to show you with the MIDI keyboard. So I have the shape instrument loaded up on this track here. So I'm going to click on that. And this instrument comes with the free version of Luna and it has tons of sounds in there. It has your keyboards, your leads, your basses. There's even full drum kits in here. There's effects, all kinds of sounds in this shape instrument, which is really nice. So I have something loaded up on there. Now, what if you don't have a MIDI keyboard or you don't have one connected right now and you just wanna try out some sounds? Well, you can see we're in this MIDI workflow up here. If I click on MIDI keyboard and I turn that on, you can see I have these AWSE, that's our computer keyboard keys. Now, if I press them on here, you can see I can play the keyboard using my computer keyboard. And that's really nice for testing out some new sounds or if you don't have a MIDI keyboard yet, you can use that, you can record with that if that's something you wanna do. It's kind of a nice feature to have right there. So let's just have a quick listen to this instrument so you can get an idea of what you're getting here. Now I'll show you some of the drum sounds. I have a drum loaded up down here. So we'll go to this version of Shapes. And you can see this one's called Disco Funk Kit. We'll hear that. It's a very basic drum pattern that I quickly drew in, but we'll check out some of the other kits that we have available to us.
So that's very cool that you get the shape instrument for free with Luna free. You also get a cool MIDI effect and we'll click on that track. And if we go to MIDI effects, we have this ARP and this comes with the free version. And now we'll just play this. And that's kind of a cool thing that you have access to right away when you install Luna for free. So you get that oxide tape emulator, which is really nice. You get the shape instrument, which is really nice. You get this ARP MIDI effect. That's really nice. And you get a completely unlocked digital audio workstation ready for you to make your next hit song. But if you do just go with the free version, you don't add that pro bundle, which I think costs $199 or something like that. If you just go with this free version, you're going to want to add a lot of plugins here because it doesn't really even have your essentials like EQs and compressors and that sort of thing. So I recommend that you check out this video right here for some of the best free essential plugins that you can grab right now. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.